everyone, my name is Madison. This is my vlog, Braining Through Photography, and we are on episode number five. Uh, today, I want to talk to you guys about reflectors um, and how you can use them, how they can help make your photos better. So it helps. Reflectors are a really great beginner tool, and they really help to kind of play with the light and get it to uh, where you want to be. And, um, and they're relatively easy to use. So I thought we would go over um, some different options for us. Uh, first things first, I've got a five-in-one reflector here. And uh, these are pretty cheap and affordable, so, and they give you a lot of different options, so I highly recommend them. Um, I also have a white foam core board and a black foam core board, and I really like using these two things, but if I'm going on location, I'll usually bring um, this little guy because he just folds up and it's easy to use. So I'll just start it out. Okay, so here's what we're looking at. First things first, we have the gold side. And then on the other side, we have the white, which I use the most. Um, and then when you open it up, you've got silver and black. And then you've got this guy. So, and then to switch it, you just flip it on the other side and take it out. So, um, I, before I kind of show you this, since I've already kind of taken it apart, I'll just, I'll start with this side. So this is the diffusion panel, and it's not necessarily to um, bounce light, and when I say bounce light, it means that the light is coming in, hits this, and then bounces somewhere. Um, and so you can kind of make that directional by like where, where it hits your face. But for the, the main use for the diffusion panel is say if you have like a really bright window on this side, and you wanna like soften it a little bit, then you can put it right here like where the light's coming in and it just kind of softens softens like the light makes it a little bit more even so without this right now the light's coming in and it's pretty sharp and then there's like a sh there's a shadow drop off okay so when you soften it through a diffusion panel what you're doing is you're kind of like the lights coming through this it's making it a little bit darker but a little bit more even and so then you're not going to have as much of an intense um, shadow drop off. Now, um, so that's really, and that, these are really helpful for when you have like a really sunny uh, window or sunny something like that. And just, um, it just makes it like really nice soft light. So it's not as like harsh, like sun and then like shadow on the other side. So that, that's what uh, the diffusion panel really helps for. You can also use like shears in your window. Just make sure that they're white shears, not like a different weird color because then that will cast through and you'll have, um, you'll have a different color on your face. So we don't want that. Um, but yeah, so I use uh, diffusion panels a lot. They really help for shadows and, and those kinds of things. So just keep that in mind. All right, so I will start with the, um, I'll start with black and the silver. And the foam core board is going to do similar things to the um, to the light, you know, the white and black versus the white and black on this thing. So, you know, keep that in mind. It's just, I don't know why, I just like the color better on the foam core board. And so, yeah, and also it's like really sturdy to use. They're also square, so then they can just kind of, they can sit somewhere. They're not like rolling around like this one does. Okay, but anyway, so now we have this silver side here, and you can tell like what this is doing to my face by the light and how it hits. I know that it's hitting my face because I can see it. Like I can see the sun hitting it, and then it's like, it's going there. So you can just kind of see, the whole point of a reflector is to fill in shadow. So when you have like, you know, obviously the light's coming in on this side and then shadow is going to be over here. And if I wanted to fill that in, then that's when the reflector comes into play. Now the silver is going to cast a silver, you know, like light onto my face. And that's just a matter of preference if that's what you want or not. For me, I typically use um, white. <laughs> white or black because um, I think that those are the most natural looking and silver and gold are not not really as much so um, if I wanted to use gold gold gets a really bad rap because of like the swimsuit calendar people they always have like gold um, light on them and it looks bad 
So, but I like using gold for some, some like fried foods. So I know that's kind of um, goofy, but yeah, it's like that yellow kind of tint kind of helps some, some foods. So just, you know, don't discount it, try it out. But yeah, that's what it's mainly for. Um, silver is just to kind of give you like a little shimmer and uh, you could definitely use it on any sort of like metal product or anything like that. Um, or if you wanted to cool down something, that would be nice too. So yeah, you can just play with this and it can go from up top. If you, if you want the light to hit and then up here more, then you would just play up there. And then if you wanted it below, just sometimes light from below doesn't look as good. So really, you're going to need to play with it. Okay. Then we have the black side. Okay, so black, and you can tell the difference between these two because one is kind of shimmery and the other one is more matte because it's paper and this is fabric. So, but what black is going to do is it's going to take away light. So this is called negative fill. And um, so when the sun is hitting it or the light's hitting it, it's going to soak it up and it's going to kind of bounce back some black. And it's just going to make it so the shadows are a little bit more pronounced. So if you had something that, like, say this side of your face was getting too much light and you wanted to kind of tone it down, that's when a black card or a black side of the reflector comes in real handy. So, And I can just show you, like, so here's this. And it's, it's going to be minor. All this stuff is minor. It's not, like, huge unless the sun is just, like, beating in. Um, but it's it's pretty minor, but those minor things are what make a picture look better. So um, it really makes like the difference. Yeah, so we got the black here, and then I can just show you kind of the difference in between the two. So, and like you can decide for yourself what you like better or what you don't, but this is kind of where we're at. Move it around. Okay, go up top here. All right. So we can just tell that difference. Black is good for um, when things are too bright and you want to tone it down, okay? And then we will switch over to the gold and the white side. So I got this 5-in-1 reflector. I feel like it was like $15 or $20. I'll link to it on the, on the show notes. But it's uh, from Cowboy Studio, and it's really, it's really come in handy for me. I just keep it in the car and just do it when we go. And I usually don't even change out the, um, the panels because I really just stick with this white more than anything. I'm usually more in the situation of needing to add light than needing to take it away because it's never really that sunny where I just shoot on location. So... Um, yeah, so that's helpful. Okay, anyway, so let's, we'll start with the gold because that'll be a good thing. So um, here's our gold side. Obviously, and you can even kind of tell like right there, it's kind of hitting and you can see it. And so right here, I can kind of see the sun is hitting in this area. It's bouncing off onto my face and it should be giving me like a gold uh, tint a little bit, okay? And it really just depends on your personal preference and the style that you want but this is how you would use a reflector. Now say you don't have a window, if you just have like a continuous light, meaning like a ring light or a lamp or a really bright light of some sort, and it's shining onto it, it's gonna work the same way. It's going to bounce that light onto your face or onto whatever you're trying to do. So um, if you wanted to use like a different way to bounce light, that would be a good place to just like kind of experiment test with it. So yeah, you can see up here, a little gold. I can kind of see it just like see parts of my face turn a little gold. Okay, and then we'll do white. And white's just a cleaner color. I like white a lot, um, as I've mentioned. So, and it just adds it. So you can like take it away, just put that there. Okay, so it's just chilling. This is just me. And then if we add white, it's just a really subtle, and the white is called fill light. Fill light, black is called negative fill. Okay. All right. And then you can see the whiteboard, which is my favorite. I don't know why. Like, it just, I feel like it works better. And it was <laughs> it's cheaper than the reflector, although that's a 5 in 1 reflector and this is just a board. But it was like a large board and I cut it in half, and so now I have two pieces. Because, you know, I don't really need, um, when I was in a studio, studio these were great because they were huge and I could, um, 
I made them into like a V, so it was like two pieces here, and I made a V. They're really big, and so you could like stand in it, and then no one had to like hold it for you. Those were great. They're called V flats, but I don't have as much room now. So yeah, uh, this is how you would use a white foam core board as a fill card. So that is just a really quick overview of reflectors and how you can play with light, bounce light. Um, it's really great to use when you're next to a window and when you've got a shadowy side that you kind of want to make less shadowy. So yes, today I talked about uh, using the 5-in-1 reflector, the diffusion panel, which is really great to soften the light, and then a white and black um, foam core board for negative fill and for just fill light. So hopefully that helped you guys kind of figure out how to use some of these tools. The whole goal is to help you guys uh, create better photos and part of that is knowing just a little bit of the tech side of the camera and taking a picture and all of those things that accompany it. So I wanted to go over a little bit with you guys just so you feel a little bit more comfortable in front of the camera. Hopefully this helped. Uh, if you liked it, let me know in the comments. Always feel free to like and subscribe to my channel. I will be teaching you guys uh, more about how to use the camera, how to pose in front of the camera, and all of that good stuff in the future. So yeah, I hope, for, hope to see you guys soon. Thank you guys for tuning in, and I'll talk to you next week.